toothbrush and clean. All the other info. Take one. Mark it. <laughs> Mark it. Just like gold. Thank you so much, Judy, for sending us that take, taker, directors. directors. There's the tape. We are living on the struggle bus today, but it's whatever. Today, we're doing a pour, shocker, but um, we're doing a... People seem to like the idea of it's spring and light colors. We've been doing a lot of dark colors. Yeah, so we're doing a light color one. Also, we're doing taped off one. Um, a longer one of these guys. Here's the tutorial on taping it off the edges. So we don't like bog down the studio. There, there's been a couple that you haven't done that to, so we need to remember. People are like, so I thought you were gonna put it up there. I'm so glad about it. What do you need? A big popsicle stick or a pointer? Big. That's what you need. We're gonna try this again with sides. Um, I wasn't really happy with the last one we did the sides with. And I think I put too much of that, uh, what do you call it, the Mayron in it, the gold. It was a gold and pink one that I did with sides. And I left the tape on for too long. This time I'm going to take it off within like 30 minutes of it being done. Is that going to make a difference? Well, 30 minutes after I'm done, I should say. Like it will, because it'll, it'll definitely fall over, but it'll be like a nice smooth. Because it'll have edge. thickened up. Yeah. Wetty nice, wetty wetty. So today we are pouring on a piece of MDF that we got at a local store that I'm super upset about it going out of business. But it's already pre cut, finished, smooth, and on the back it has hangability. We just have to hope that I think one, that's an one, e one of those word. ways. Right? Well, here's the 50 50 shots. Cheers. Bing. What resin are you using? Um, the countertop epoxy? Yeah. Looks like this. It's really thick. Like, we ordered some like, chromarine. I would prefer to use the, the Virotex for the art. But so we're I just low. Thin. That'd be enough for like a 10 by 10. This is a 12 by 12 MDF. Did you spray paint it? Yeah. We just used a white to spray paint it, make it a different color. What colors are you using? Um, I'm using a light turquoise. I'll list all these in the description box. Bello. An amazing uh, pearl silver. I'm real excited about these colors going together. This awesome white. Um, and then I'm going to put this in the clear. I don't know how it's going to do it, but hopefully it'll like bling it out. Bling. This is a, this is a recollections glitter, wasn't it? I'll link that in the description below. I think it was called. No, oh, it's like super fine. It's yeah. the stuff that stays on for like days. We still have glitter floating around here from pieces that we did forever ago. I'm gonna put these away. All right, let's see here. And I'm second guessing on using the glitter because. On that piece, I used this for the first time ever, and it just sunk. Yeah, it's super heavy, but that would be good to put in with like um, a, a liquid oh, bright so pink. Know, this one from this video. I'm gonna remember all these. Don't you dance in my yeah, like so it'll sink in between and make. The uh, the bright pink 
very uh, selly. Selly. ordered a piece off of our this stuff is for sale video they went out today sorry for the lateness we've just been crazy busy this piece is not included on it but it is far style it has mayron in it you'll love it that video is here and now i need to write that down no that's the same need video to take yeah notes I did. I'm right here. We also need to do an updated prep canvas tutorial. The polycrylic one. We're going to go see Bon Jovi tonight. Woo -woo. Bon Jovi. Are you going to make me like guess all the songs he sings? No, because you probably should just know them because you were born in. Yeah, but memories and etc. She not... doesn't like music, everybody. So I that's love why music. Or ship. Ship. I said S-I. S H I P. I see, I see. Lies. Soon we'll do a video with this. Um, we used it in the table, the glitter table, on like the first layer. Wasn't impressed with it, so we just need to try again. I think we put too much in it. I think I might want to put some metallic in here, powder. This might be too soft. What color is it? This silver. It's almost white. Give me some silver. Um, and some micro pearls. Yeah. Should it be that way? What? Micro pearls. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, we can. We just put. A stick full. I guess that's the quantity of micro pearl. I'll also include that in the description box below. There. I want it to be more silvery. Give me some silver. It's going to darken it. I know. I want it to be a little bit darker. Yeah. Or do you want the paste? Alright, also adding a stick full of silver micro pearl. Also include that in the description. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Man, that smells like when you add stuff to this. No, Envirotex doesn't do that. Yeah, this really. It's like that paint gets mad at you. And those colors look really nice together. That's what I call it fresh and clean. So fresh and so clean. Clean. I think I want to put some uh, Teal. You want Maui? Ink. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah. Because I, I see it with this silver and that. I know. Yeah, I was going to say you need a dark color, but I'm not trying to. Put some of this Bombay Aqua. This stuff is very pretty. So pretty. Like Chilita model. So dumb. that and we use this and we use this and we use that. It was already doing fun things. Yes. Are you going to heat gun it or are you going to torch it? 
Oh, it's popping up in there. Wedding eyes. I'm always surprised at how opaque looking that teal ink is. I know, but it's really not. Every time we do puddle pour, it makes me want pancakes. True story. What else is new in our world that we can share with the fam out there? Um. We are almost done with the first mural. If you guys haven't seen it, follow us on Facebook and or, or Instagram. Instagram and check it out. I have all of our social media links in the description box below. Also, people always um, recreate some of our artwork or um, attempt and succeed to use the same colors we do or the same methods we do because, you know, tutorials and stuff. So we want to see if you guys post on social media how it looks. I want to see everything. So I'm going to start in a hashtag. And I want you guys to hashtag it so I can see what all you're doing. Because I want to see. I love seeing your guys' artwork. So hashtag ATDART so that we can keep up and like and follow you guys on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Facebook. Yeah, leave your leave your Instagram or Facebook in the comments and we'll follow we follow. follow you guys. But hashtag us so we can see all of the things. That still looks super thick. Yeah. <laughs> it take, doesn't seem like there's enough. <laughs> take this out. It's so weird how it like looks baseball fieldish. You guys don't have to use a heat gun. We just like it. Um, you can also use a torch like this one. Some people are nervous about torches because nope. Yep, torches because it's raw flame, but I'm here to tell you, heat guns can be dangerous too. That cast and craft always just throws out awesome cells. If you out there have problems getting cells, this stuff is kind of a brain dead way to brain dead. That's I don't know if that sounds appropriate. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's effortless. That's a good good way of putting it. Basically, all you do is layer colors and then tilt your canvas. And when the white rolls over another one, since the white's heavier, it will drop in places once you heat it. And that is what creates cells because you're thinning it and it's dropping down because it's heavier. That's your e-science for the day. There's more science included, but I don't know it well enough to talk about it, so that's all you get. Oh, also, we'll be testing a pour on, what was it, plexiglass? For a client that wants... I'm kind of excited about that. I know, she wants it to have see-through uh, factors and... We just got the plexiglass in to test that. We're also going to be doing a 24 by 36 for Ms. Judy, which we have the canvas in and we've started to prep it. So we can test on it. We're also going to do one on, what is it, Masonite? Yes. This almost looks like a heart. It's doing fun stuff. I'm blown away by how thick this is. That's what she said. Oh boy. <laughs> 
I like the way that looks now. But all those cells are going to change. It is what it is. I love the movement in that, though. Mm -hmm. I think you should blow that. with this corner here. This looks like an abstract tiara. You're going to have people yell at you to just walk away. Well. I'm kind of just experimenting at this point now because I don't, that color is just that so, looks so muted. Great. You're talking about the sea green? Yeah. It looks like frilly, like, what's it on it? Like a pedophile, what's it called? Or doily? No. Yeah, it's just... No. It's all my favorite parts and melting away. You should put some white up here. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna let it all fall down here and then tilt it back. That looks very beachy. I think you should tilt it to another corner so you don't have that line down the middle. It's You're about like to spill just spill out. Enough to be irritating, like there's not enough resin. Didn't make enough resin. I think it's about to get really pretty. This is gonna stretch and look really good. You think that's going to make it really busy? It's already busy. I really like this. Well, I really wish it would just do that. Like just... Well, when the resin can't get off. I know. I just keep on breaking. Do you have any more white? Huh? I'm gonna uh, get this off from the dirt. To turn that hair dryer on it on high, right down the center. Um, I think you should put more white in it first. Look what it's doing since it was so much heavier than how high you heated it. <laughs> Do you want me to? I almost just want to take, make some more, just clear, put all that glitter in it, and then put it over the top of that. So then it kind of blah, melts in with it. I think I should have just did, did pour all one color, one color, one color, and one color. Because I just, that's what I pictured it. I pictured them just going blah, like, and when you pour it on top of itself, it, it 
starts to muddy it. And moving it, fire. You don't have to do bottle pours. I know, I just, I, know, I mean, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, I need to think outside of what I'm normally doing. That's why, that's what it does when you put walls on it, when it, it hits it and then it just keeps layering, layering, and then you tilt it back and then there's all those lines and then that's what gives it that. Stand on the floor for it. I don't really see I'm going to have to. No, I mean like laying all those still like through it then. It's completely not going over the edges though. <laughs> mm -mm. I think you baked it too long. Should we, just, should we try to mix them? Just see what it does? I kind of want to just see what adding a late. A late one? Yeah. And then I would like to see how they would be mixed, but in terms of like just this right now. Let's do. Um... What do you need? This is a lot. <laughs> It's so funny, like I'm excited to put something over that. I want to do something so that it, like something not, let me get ink. What, what, what's, what's the stuff that's like clear? Is that what this is? Yeah. How come it doesn't look like that in, I guess it kind of does. Just when you mix it, when you first mix it, it's kind of opaque. Turquoise is really clear. Let's do the turquoise. Um, and the magenta is super clear. Let's do some magenta too. That'll be fun. It'll turn purple. Let's do white. We'll do a white one. <laughs> do you want a Maui? And I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to make it to where they're in opposite corners. I'm gonna change the title of this one to Fake It Till You Make It. Yeah. Should I just pour it on there? I don't know what, oh. Cause I want it to be more ocean-y, like, so it doesn't just mix. Let's just do that. Oh, just all in the middle? I'm gonna put over here, over here, and over here. You should put the white over that because that's what will make it real, like, wavy. I'm surprised it hasn't sunk through that. It hasn't even, like, it didn't even push the Some of these bad right now. This is gonna be so kick ass. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the white in after. I'm just gonna put this and pour in this on it. Look at that. Oh, let's see how it sunk it. Yeah, but I don't mind that. Put it through that clear, because that's going to give you all the wave look. I'm surprised that other stuff isn't like heating it up and making it dry. That's so weird. Look at that. Mm -hmm.
Just use a blow dryer. Maybe. <laughs> but I do think we should do that though. Like I love all of that. Like that's gonna make some really great. Uh, what do you call Look at it? those cells right there. Well, this is definitely experimentation day. Mm -hmm. Maybe you get a little bit more look at those cells. See this circle right here? That is from putting Resin on resin when it's still wet. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it's like coming out. See this, people? That's from that cast and craft. Now I feel like doing another ocean. It's gonna look bomb. I know it's gonna look like. The bomb pop. Ugh, look at that. Now watch all the cells are gonna see all the cells are gonna come over. How here. much depth is in this? But it's amazing. I wish you had more white. There is a hair right here. We have pores that we don't like, so that would count for all that under. I love that like gentle fade mm -hmm. and all of these like faint cells that are popping up. you to get this hair. That's still a hair right there. I don't see it. It's right there. I think it's it's I don't think it's a hair, it's just like a it was white. Mm. It's 
crazy how you can still see the shimmer under it. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's there. Why is that there? Because I was trying to fill in the hole. Hmm. I do have light. I'll put some back here. And in this area. Sad thing is you're gonna have to tilt it now and I don't want this to go away. Or maybe you can just put the heat gun on high and just blow it with your face. Spelling up right here where it got thin. We tape the bottom off, doesn't matter. It's so soft. <laughs> See, so you should be really proud of this one. Did you really like that? Well. Now, what we can do Finn? I would say Finn. Or not Finn. Unfin. Alright guys, I gotta show you while he's doing something else. Some other stuff. Ooh, this is selling up really good. I don't even know if you guys can tell the depth in this, but it looks really good in person. And all these cells are effortless courtesy of Cast and Craft. Like we mentioned before, the secret is to put clear down wide over it, heat it up, and tilt it or blow it so that it's thinned out. That's what makes cells super easy when you do it that way. Also, we got a new paint rack so that we could condense, nope, extend our ratchet drying shelves. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Another three layers. The name of this piece, Toxic Beach. It looks like where those two oceans meet. All right. That's all for today, folks. A bitty, a bitty, a bitty, a bitty, a bitty. I'm pretty sure you just destroyed part of the cake. No, I made it more e science y. It's a thing. Look it up. It's No, but it is. It's in the thing. Now it's all secure. It's so ratchet, but it works. What are you gonna do? I don't think it's ratchet. I think it's efficient, crafty. Yeah. All right, you guys. Bye. I said bye.